cute cute hi guys my name is Trin and today I am going to do a book review and discussion for The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls this is actually my second time rereading The Glass Castle the first time I read this book was five years ago I was so young so naive so stupid I'm just kidding I, I wasn't stupid I was smart damn it The Glass Castle is actually a memoir by Jeanette Walls it's a story about her life when she was young it mostly focuses on her family specifically her dad and her mom when she was young her family was poor like very very poor they didn't have a lot of money and they had to travel to many places in order to survive so her family consists of her dad her mom her older sister Lori her younger brother Brian and her youngest sister Maureen so two parents four children so the biggest issue in this book is actually her parents the mom and the dad they're not good parents okay they're not they suck honestly they're very irresponsible dysfunctional manipulative and sometimes abusive even though the dad loved his family very much and I feel like sometimes I see that you know like he loved his children very much he's not a good dad he's not he's an alcoholic and a lot of the times he couldn't even provide food for his family the mother on the other hand she's just as bad honestly I don't even know who's worse at this point I really don't sometimes I hate the dad more than the mom sometimes I hate the mom more than the dad the mom she's an artist and very optimistic but like honestly the kind of optimism that's like really annoying you know there were so many moments where i was just frustrated with her she's an artist and she kind of hated her children because she didn't like parenting she preferred painting over parenting now let's quickly talk about the writing style because i feel like that's also very important how i see it is that jeanette the author she doesn't express her opinions on her family members she tells the story how it is and you kind of have to interpret it as your own i will say that the end feels rushed like very rushed but i still like it because at the end it wraps the whole story pretty nicely also the book is very detailed and very explicit trigger warning there are some scenes that include sexual assault jeanette was sexually assaulted like three or four times in this book and i'm not even joking like there's so many times Times, I was scared for her like remember she was very young when this happened like incredibly young also there's a scene where her younger brother Brian got molested by his grandmother yeah it's fucking gross now with that being said I love this book honestly I have only said this was my favorite but I kind of just like yeah I love the glass castle but now rereading this I absolutely love the glass castle there are some slow parts in the book but I feel like they're necessary to fully understand this family even though the parents let the family down so many times especially the dad Jeanette was still able to forgive them that's one thing forgiveness is in this book and she's able to kind of just forgive her parents for all this bullshit and kind of move on with her life she never expresses her opinions about her parents but you can tell that she doesn't think poorly of them there are scenes where she's very disappointed in them but like you can't blame her because if i was her i would be disappointed in them too i love her relationships with her siblings especially with her younger brother brian they're very close and they always have each other's back and it's really great to see that honestly <laughs> i do love this book i cry a lot because a lot of times it's very upsetting and a lot of times it really touched my heart so at the end i give this book five out of five stars it's so good honestly i highly recommend this book this is my favorite book of all time and that's saying a lot so yeah the glass castle by Jeanette Walls highly recommend by me my eyelashes are sticking together jeez so that is it for the review I'm going to jump into the discussion section because I have a few things I want to discuss so go back to the people who have not read the book but stay if you have read it and want to talk about it and hear what I have to say all right goodbye so let's quickly talk about this because when I read this the second time I remember thinking like holy shit like this is really bad so the story of how her parents got married basically like the dad met the mom and he's like I'm gonna marry you and all that stuff and they eventually got married but like it's really abusive because the mom says he wouldn't take no for an answer he was persistent and it's not like the mom was happy afterwards she was like well, this is literally the worst thing ever like she's straight out said that like she was not happy with the marriage whatsoever she eventually learns to love it but then at first she was kind of like oh okay like uh i don't it's it's weird i don't like it's <laughs> okay so the dad he's very smart you know and he loves his children like i have said <laughs> times but 
He's horrible when he's drunk. And he got drunk a lot, okay, in this book. So one time the parents got into a fight. The mom walked out of the car and he literally called his wife like a whore, a slut, a bitch, and all these horrendous names and I just sit there like oh my god like this is not okay he dragged his wife back into the car like she's nothing I it's honestly such a mess in so many ways like Jeanette she can't not really do anything because she was so young and then the mom gave birth to a girl named Maureen Maureen is the fourth child so for a while the family lived in Battle Mountain I forgot where that is honestly so the mom she's selfish as fuck she really is so she became a teacher because you know the family ran out of money and like she has a teaching degree she might as well use it but she hated teaching and the parents like I said very manipulative so basically the mom is making money Money, but like the dad is like in charge of the money because he's like the man of the house so he should be in charge and all that stuff but like the way he uses money is not okay because he's just buying booze and it's like okay but like you have a family you need to feed them food and they're dragging their kids into this drama oh my god and this is one thing that I am so confused about in Battle Mountain there's a house called a Green Lantern and obviously it's a brothel I have to ask why did the dad cheat like why did he cheat on his wife because there's a scene where he and Brian went to the Green Mountain Green Mountain? Green Lantern So Brian is like reading his comic book in like one room And like the dad and this woman named Ginger went into this other room And like obviously they're fucking I just sit there like oh my god Like put your child in the next room like Ew. And like Brian knew, like I know for a fact that he knew what the fuck is going on. I was disgusted. I was so grossed out. So they lived in Battle Mountain for a while. I want to say like a year or so. And then out of nowhere, this boy named Billy, oh my god, I, I kind of want to kill him. This boy, Billy, he's very manipulative, very abusive, incredibly abusive. He tried to rape Jeanette. I was livid. First of all, she was young. I think this is before she turned 10. This is really fucking wrong. He fucking tried to rape her and everything and oh my god and then he went into the house. He shoot like, you know, the kids with the BB gun and then <laughs> fucking Lori took out a real gun and like threatened him. But after all this mess, there's a chance that the kids will be taken away from the parents so like they have to leave Battle Mountain. So they went to Arizona because the mom inherited a house from her mother. So good thing, you know, they inherited a house, they have a little bit of money but of course they're out of money but not just that the house was like infested with roaches termites the house was basically falling apart and the dad you know drinks a lot oh my god the kids would clean up after him and everything and it's just really sad to see and then on her 10th birthday Jeanette asked her dad to stop drinking that hurts to read because like if your child is asking you to stop drinking for her birthday you know like as a birthday present that says a lot about you but of course that didn't last long so after this they moved to West Virginia because the dad's family lives there lived there so there's Irma the grandmother there's grandpa and then there's uncle Stanley they all suck except the grandpa but we barely see him so Irma and Stanley were racist as fuck but not just that Irma molested Brian I was fucking crying and then Lori I fucking love Lori in this scene she hit Irma and they both like fight it was really entertaining because I'm just like okay if I was in that situation I would hit Irma too and then the dad he was like yelling at his children but then later Jeanette suspected that the dad got molested by his own fucking mom because for a while he didn't want to go to West Virginia so the family moved to like a different house but still in West Virginia There's so many parts that I really want to cry because like the kids had to go through the trash to find food. So there's a scene where the mother is like hiding under a blanket and she's eating a chocolate bar but she didn't want to share it with her children and when they found out that she was eating the chocolate bar she like was crying and she wanted them to forgive her and all that stuff. One day Jeanette suggested her mom to leave her dad and I was like whoa holy shit that's like a lot to ask and the mom honestly she just refused to leave him and it's like oh my god. So the mom is going to be a teacher again, but like they're still struggling with money. So one summer, the mom and the Lori were gone for the summer. So Jeanette is in charge of like food and money and everything. And the dad, oh my God, he kept asking her for money. And obviously for his own selfish reasons. And like there's a scene where she almost got raped and like the dad doesn't care. Like he's just like, ah, 
it's okay. Like, you didn't get raped. It's okay. I was like, this is why you're divorced. So after being fed up with this bullshit, Jeanette decides that, you know what? She has to get away from this hellhole. So the kids came up with a plan for Lori to go to New York City. So all of them have to start saving money. So of course, the days before Lori went to New York, the dad stole the money. But this is a scene where I was just really touched. The family that Jeanette was babysitting, they offer her a like deal that she can come with them because they're moving. So she's gonna come with them, watch their kids, and they will pay her $200 for the summer. And then they will also buy a ticket for her to go back to Welsh. But then Jeanette was like, no, take my sister Lori. And after the summer, buy a ticket for her to go to New York City. And that's what they did. And I was just like really touched. Like she gave up that opportunity for her sister. And then afterward, Jeanette was leaving for New York City after she's done with her junior year of high school. And honestly, when she told everyone the plan, I love how like the siblings, especially Brian, were like very supportive. He's like, yes, you do that. So after Lori and Jeanette moved to New York City, Brian and Maureen also moved to New York City. And then three years later, the parents moved to New York City. But the thing is, they were homeless. And this is a scene that I was fucking crying because like I couldn't remember it the first time I read this book. I think it's like around like the last year of college for Jeanette. She needs $2,000 in order to like go to college, but she only had $1,000. So her dad gave her $1,000. Like he had money the entire time, but he didn't really use it to, you know, take care of himself. And she, she's just like, no, like this money's for you. Like you should take care of yourself. And he's like, no, like I want you to finish college. Oh, and then afterward, the parents eventually found a home, but they were squatters. Now, this chapter. I couldn't believe when I was reading it, honestly, because it just, it makes me furious. So the mom, she came to Jeanette. She was like, my brother died. We need to buy his land because we need to buy family's land on us. And we need to keep like the family together and shit like that. Turns out the land is $1 million. And Jeanette came to the conclusion like, oh my God, my mom's land, the land that she inherited from her mom cost $1 million. It's not like it's important to the mom. She just like didn't touch it because you know, it's family and all that stuff, like family land. But like you were fucking poor for so long. Your children were suffering. Ring, and you didn't even think to, I don't know, sell the land so to get money is so frustrating in so many ways at the end the dad died from a heart attack and that was also really hard to read because like at the end of the day he's still her dad and then at the very 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 end the entire family gathered together for thanksgiving and then they rose to rex the dad and you know what i that touch me. Oh, it's just, it's really great to reread read this, honestly. So that is it for today's video. That is it for The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. I'm gonna go now because I'm going to see the movie in like 30 minutes. So like, I'm very excited. So that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.